Its 36-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out anomalous cosmic rays and new plasmas, to boldly go where no probe has gone before. The Voyager 1 has been making its way through outer space for over four decades now, and in that time, it's gone above and beyond its initial mission. Voyager 1 just detected unknown objects passing by in space, and well, it's changed everything. The plasma comes from the explosion of, has, from other giant stars millions of years ago, uh, and that plasma carries with it the magnetic field of the galaxy. While for the past few years, we've mainly just looked at data from inside the solar system, thanks to the Voyager 1, we now have access to data from outside, too. In August 2012, the Voyager officially reached the end of the solar system and crossed the heliopause. But this wasn't an easy task whatsoever. As Voyager 1 moved farther away from the sun, the amount of sunlight available to power its instruments and systems diminished significantly. The spacecraft's power is primarily generated by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, that convert the heat produced by the natural decay of plutonium, 238, into electricity. Over time, the decreasing heat output of the RTGs has resulted in a decline in available power. This reduction in power affects the operation of various systems on board, including scientific instruments, data transmission, and communication capabilities. To conserve energy, certain non-essential systems and instruments have been deactivated or placed in a dormant state. As the power continues to decline, critical systems may need to be further optimized or shut down to extend Voyager 1's operational lifespan, because as is, it won't be able to operate for much longer. The continuous decrease in signal strength further complicates data retrieval and reliable command transmission. But even then, each piece of information has to be thoroughly analyzed, no matter how crazy it might sound. Recently, though, amidst the stream of data, a fascinating discovery emerged. Voyager 1 detected an intriguing anomaly. There were a bunch of signals, most of them hard to decipher, but one of them said that it detected the presence of 300 unknown objects passing by in the cosmic expanse. These mysterious entities emerging from the depths of interstellar space had scientists all over the world super confused because the discovery of these 300 unidentified objects challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Are they remnants of ancient celestial bodies, drifting relics from distant star systems? Or do they signify the existence of previously unknown phenomena, uncharted realms waiting to be unraveled? Normally, when the Voyager sends information, it's pretty easy to decipher, but this data was scrambled. So while there were lots of questions, there weren't really any answers. But here's where things get even weirder. Despite the peculiar nature of the transmitted data, Voyager 1 itself remained seemingly unscathed, functioning in remarkable condition. The great thing was the fact that its communication link with Earth remained intact, the signal that retained its strength, allowing valuable information to be sent to NASA without much of an issue. Curiously, none of the spacecraft's fault protection systems were triggered, indicating that it hadn't even gone into a protective safe mode, which would be the normal course of action if it detects any threats. So it was clear that the Voyager wasn't really under attack. Their expertise and dedication played a crucial role in successfully restoring the clarity of Voyager 1's communication stream. The engineers' efforts showed the importance of leveraging past knowledge and combining it with present technology to overcome challenges in space exploration. Engineers suspect that Voyager 1's deviation into utilizing the non-operational computer was triggered by a faulty command received from another onboard system. This hypothesis suggests the presence of an underlying issue within the spacecraft's intricate computer network. Despite the concern, mission managers remain cautiously optimistic, emphasizing that the incident doesn't actually pose a significant threat to Voyager 1's long-term well-being. Well, as unbelievable as it might be, Despite how powerful the heliosphere is, NASA wants to know everything there is to know about it and beyond. And the interstellar probe is going to be the one to gather all the info. 
The Interstellar Probe is an ambitious NASA space probe concept that aims to take things one step further than the Voyager spacecraft did. First proposed in 2018 by NASA's Applied Physics Laboratory, this groundbreaking mission envisions launching the probe between 2036 and 2041, embarking on a journey that will span several decades and cover hundreds of astronomical units away from Earth. At the heart of the Interstellar Probe's mission is the need to gather comprehensive measurements and insights into the conditions prevailing throughout the heliosphere and the heliosheath. Yes, there's a difference between the two. The heliosphere refers to the region influenced by the sun's solar wind, while the heliosheath represents the outer layer of the sun's bubble of charged particles. With the utilization of advanced contemporary technology, the interstellar probe represents a significant leap forward in interstellar exploration. Its primary objective is to lay the foundation for future ambitious journeys, both scientifically and technically. This pioneering mission will not only push the boundaries of our understanding, but also serve as a roadmap for riskier endeavors yet to come. But what do you think? Could the interstellar probe really bring us more information than we already have? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.